What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about something that I think is really important. If you are considering doing music professionally, you have to be able to market yourself. So I want to talk about the five number one things that you need to start doing or need to get acquainted with if you're going to market yourself or your band. Before we start though, if you find this information valuable, I appreciate uh, just clicking the like follow subscribe whatever it does help the channel grow yada 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 all right anyway let's get to the point here am i right all right so what what where do you start uh, i think a lot of people they get lost in the sauce with i gotta post to tiktok 15 times a day which don't get me wrong social media is definitely a huge part in marketing your music but I would say for me where I would start or the number one thing besides social media which social media will be on the list later is make a website have all your info on there have a way to contact you have your email have some videos make a little turn it into an EPK and have everything your music some videos all your headshots, pictures of the band, a uh, way for people to contact you, find everything that you have going on, see your schedule, when are you playing shows, what are you doing, what do you got going on. It could be anything. It could be a blog. It could be whatever. But have a place where people can find you that is outside of social media that you control so that you can use your social media to uh, send people there and ultimately the goal of that is that they'll sign up for your email list and that would be an asset that you control that Mark Zuckerberg doesn't control so if you're ever shadow banned or deplatformed or something happens, you have something where you can contact your fans because ultimately we know that right now social media is becoming a place where it's more of a pay to play landscape especially even tiktok unfortunately a place that really started out as something where anybody could go post go viral have these insane moments and now we're seeing a lot of people that went viral are getting dropped by their labels because one they can't recreate it and two they didn't send those people to their email list their website they didn't get their information they didn't control what their fans are able to see how they contact their fans the social media platforms are in control of how they're able to contact their fans and so what ends up happening is they don't have another viral moment and they sort of miss their shot and it's really unfortunate i know i sh should probably have an email list but uh i don't i i kind of do i have a sub stack i can put the link down below so if you're interested in reading long arduous articles that i've written about new media economics or you know certain things like that then or ai I, I don't know i write about all sorts of stuff so if you're interested in that you can check out my Substack. but i don't have like a traditional email list which i should have every artist should have that um the other thing is have all of your social media set up, tied together. Make sure you're posting across all the platforms. So if you're posting a video on Facebook, post it on TikTok. Post it on Twitter or X or instagram and you know capitalize on your audience reach across those different platforms because some people may follow you on twitter but they might not follow you elsewhere which also do people really use twitter anymore i don't know i never got into twitter let me know if you use it the next thing that you need to do 
is have music released. If you don't have music that people can listen to, then, I mean, how are they going to know that your music is any good or if it's something they might be interested in or if they want to follow your journey, you know? So you got to have music out there to entice people to come at least give you a shot, give you a listen. That's important. Number four on the list, have good pictures and videos. Learn how to use a camera. I have a camera. I have learned how to use a camera decently well. I'm getting better all the time. I really like using my camera. I have a Sony... I don't know. It's it's a pretty good one. I don't know what model it is. I think it's the ZV E10... I don't know, don't quote me on that, ZV-E10 maybe, and I got a decent lens, not the one that came with it, I'm pretty close to my camera, so I wanted a um, pretty wide angle lens that would work for how close I sit at my computer here, so yeah, definitely get a camera. I paid $600 for this camera and it has the same sensor as the FX3 by Sony, which is used on Netflix films and shit. So you can get a good camera for decent. Watch a YouTube video, learn how to edit, learn how to set your ISO and your f-stop and your shutter speed so that you can get really high quality video and high quality pictures and learn how to use lighting. I got some lights back here. Looks kind of cool. Learning, learning that is half the battle. Number five, I think, is the most important thing that you could possibly do to market your music. And that is don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting myself out there. You're going to have to do that too if you want to be successful in music. And, and in life, you need to be able to make friendships and relationships with people. It can be hard especially for musicians who are introverted like I am but I think I think we could get there if we just if we do that and maybe stop spending all your money on guitars that's a rant for another video actually I've already made that video 50 times but I'll make that video again too so don't forget uh like subscribe listen to my music be my friend on social media add me say hi what's up guys all right (music) 